Suffer in silence when you are tormented, suffer vile forms of cruelty, are slandered, abused or mocked in my name. Friday, February 14, 2014 at 10 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, when a man says he is knowledgeable of science, he will have to prove this, in order for you to believe in him. When a teacher says he knows of many things, you will know how good he is if you can learn from him. When a man of God says he knows everything about God, he can impart this information and you will be knowledgeable. But, when a man of God says that he is inspired by the Holy Spirit, you will know him only by the fruits he produces and not by the knowledge he imparts. When the Holy Spirit is at work this will result in many fruits, which will present as follows, people who are drawn to the Holy Spirit will be drawn closer to God. They will love others with a greater intensity than before. They will share their love. Then, they will want to spend more time in prayer and, especially, where they will pray for the souls of others, rather than their own intentions. The love of God will become deeper and more personal. And, as they allow the Holy Spirit to engulf them, they will feel an urgent need to surrender themselves fully to the will of God. Those who are inspired by the Holy Spirit will not show hatred for those who despise them. Instead, they will strive, through prayer, to beg me to save that soul. The love of God can only penetrate the soul by the power of the Holy Spirit. The soul will always feel peace and tranquility, despite the suffering which they will inevitably have to endure, the closer they become to me, their Jesus. I do not divide people. I draw the blessed, those with enough love, born out of a deep sense of humility for God, into my sacred heart. Once ensconced within me, their only desire is to bring me souls. When they truly become mine, in union with me, they will be the subject of hatred. The hatred shown to them will not matter to them, because they will not forsake me, if their love for me is strong enough. They may fall, from time to time, because they will be a target of oppression. They will feel the pain of rejection, just as I feel. They will be mocked, chastised and called fools, just as I was. They will feel a heavy burden because of the way they will be ostracized, just as I was. Their knowledge and their wisdom, given to them by the Holy Spirit, will be viciously opposed and yet, what they say in my name, will remain ingrained in the memories of all whom they come into contact with. So, my beloved disciples, think of me, as I walk amongst you. You may not see me, touch me or look into the light of my face, but know that I am with you, just as I was when I walked the earth with my beloved apostles. I do not seek out the intelligent, the knowledgeable or the stalwarts of society, although I welcome them and embrace them, as I do all of God's children. I do not seek the approval of the learned, the exalted amongst you, the leaders of your countries or churches. I do not seek the stamp of approval, which man so ardently desires. Instead, I seek out the meek, the humble and those who only care about the welfare of others, over and above their own needs. These are the souls who are blessed by my hand. Their love for others mirrors my own love. They accept suffering just as I do and it is of little consequence to them. These people are the backbone of Christianity and the Holy Spirit is ingrained in their souls, for the good of all of God's children. Never be ashamed of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Suffer in silence when you are tormented, suffer vile forms of cruelty, are slandered, abused or mocked in my name, for when you remain with your head bowed, the devil and all those unfortunate souls he uses to torment you, will fail in their attempts to take you away from me. Stand up and declare your allegiance to me with a lightness of heart and purity of soul and I will bless you with the gift of peace and tranquility. Your Jesus.